All right, guys. So we're we're back out here, State Forest. Um, it's uh, the first, actually, the second week of the deer season, 2016. Um, uh, back hitting it hard today. I haven't had much luck. I haven't shot anything. Actually, I haven't fired a bullet. I saw a few rabbits, a couple of foxes, and I saw a hare that was like the size of a fox. It was massive. Uh, I was slow, so I, I missed a shot. I didn't. I didn't even shoot it. I was just slow today for some reason. Um, but anyway, uh, at the end of the video, I'm going to show you some snippets of what, um, of of how I went in my walk. Um, uh, I'm also going to show you some of the birds which I managed to uh, picture because that's also a passion of mine, bird watching. So I have a few for today which I which I haven't catalogued as yet. Uh, which I'm really happy with so the hunting trip is not wasted at all I also made it all the way to the Duck Molloy River and uh, played around over there as well it just walked up and down threw out a line as you can see I have my rod with me so I threw out some lures and that I didn't get anything but it was fun nonetheless um, today what I want to show you as well is this new um, pack which I've got uh, it's the Caribbean 50 liter Ozcam op military got a long name um, but uh, here's a bag over here I was actually looking for a bag which would uh, you know bag to end all bags um, a bag for hiking bag for hunting as well so um, I opted for this one over here it's, it's uh, 50 liters so it's right in the middle it's not too large like a 70 or 80 litre one and it's not small like it's a small day pack. Um, so I just bought it honestly a few days ago. I had it run with it now. I must have done about 6-7 k's with it. I'm uh, really really happy with it. I'm just going to show you a little bit uh, about it. Now it's way too early for like a proper review. You know I've only taken it out once but I'm really excited about it. Um, so as you can see it's in the in the Australian camo pattern um, it has all of these um, these grips I forgot what you call them mold or something like that M O L L E where you can attach things on uh, on the uh, outside um, it comes with basically one two three compartments and you've got five compartments I'm not counting all the other smaller things so you've got two compartments in the side over here they're quite deep as you can see I just have the I don't know why I put that in but this for something um, and it has one on the other side as well uh, in there I have my bin um, now what it has which is a little bit weird I have to get used to it you see I didn't even have that one yeah I didn't even have that one tied on as I said I have to get used to it but um, but it has this area over here which which opens up and you can put your things inside over here something which uh, which isn't going to fall out easy like a jacket or something like that um, then in the front compartment over here uh, as you can see it has neat little uh, mesh um, compartments and it has waterproof compartment as well so I have things like my lights inside and my knives and everything like that you know what I carry with me hunting I'm not going to go through everything I just want to show the bag um, so that's one compartment that's the other one over here and it's got a smaller compartment here on top where I would put all my valuables like my wallet or mobile or, or anything like that at the moment I have my hunting papers with me um, now we come to the main compartment this is the main area this is where the majority of your things are going to go in and I'll just show you how it's arranged so as you can see over there I don't know if you can see that uh, the water bladder I put in myself it's a 3 litre one um, it opens all the way out I've got minimum things in here at the moment I have some obviously that's my first aid over there you can see that's first aid and I've got my water straw and poncho and, and uh, storage things in case I shoot an animal and put it in something 
But yeah, uh, it's really, really comfortable. I'm gonna turn it around in the middle in a minute. Um, it's really nicely padded at the back. Uh, it does have a frame. The frame is inside, so it's not just uh, floppy. Um, it has the nice um, waist strap as well, which ties up. It's got the sternum strap as well, uh, which goes around your chest. That's really, really um, comfortable, as you can see. It has the area for the pipe. Um, so far, so far, so good. Really happy with it. But there's a lot which I haven't. You see, I think I went the whole way, and I didn't even have those on. I think those were actually out, and that's why it was a little bit. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to go. Yeah, it wasn't feeling that compact on my back, but I'm pretty sure it will be now. I didn't have those tied up all that way. Can't believe that. Uh, there we have it. That goes around nicely. There we have it. Awesome. All right, so now I'm going to show you little snippets of my uh, of my hunting trip this morning not that much to show but I'll just show you and I'll show you some birds which I managed to picture as well thanks for watching right, guys this is what I was after um walked all that way quite a long walk um went uphill as well I'm gonna have to go I went uphill and then downhill as you can see so I'm gonna have to go at least one still it's steep uphill on the way up, but this is what I've been after. I went about three quarters of the way last year. I didn't make it all the way, it was really hot. This time I've reached the river, Duck Malloy River. Ah, oh, it looks beautiful. Let's see if I can get anything from here. Trout, I'll be so happy. Alright guys, so this is what I came up this morning, it's now afternoon, it's past one o'clock, I've been walking now for about, not only walking, resting as well for about three hours, um, and now I'm heading back towards the car, but this is just a bit of the scenery, and I've come from way over there, I don't know if you can see it in the distance, where the pine is, where the pine starts off. That's where my car is, somewhere over there. So I've got a way to go. Um, but yeah, it's a beautiful walk. And I've got heaps of birds as well. Pictures of birds. Now I'm going to head back.